no, it's definitely different. At the beginning of the film, we see Sister Mary praying late at night. After her prayer, she sneaks into Mother Superior's room and steals a set of keys. It's clear that Sister Mary is trying to escape from whatever Catholic convent she is in. She quickly uses the keys to open the main door, but suddenly we see some hooded figures behind her. Sister Mary hurriedly opens the door a little and tries to escape, but one of the hooded figures grabs her foot and twists it, breaking it. This causes Sister Mary to faint, and when she regains consciousness, she finds herself buried in a coffin, with no one coming to help her. It's safe to assume that Sister Mary must have died in that coffin. Now from here, the scene focuses on a young sister, Cecilia, who has come to join a convent in Italy with a one-way ticket from the U.S. She got this ticket from the father of the convent. She didn't take it herself. We can understand that Father Sal Tadeshi had invited Cecilia here. And Cecilia was very eager to join this convent. Why? Because the place where she used to work as a sister in the U.S., that place was closed. Now when Cecilia enters from the main door of the convent, we viewers can clearly understand that this is the same convent which we saw in the first scene of the movie. Cecilia meets Mother Superior here, who welcomes Cecilia, and Sister Isabel shows her room to Cecilia. Sister Isabel was a bit rude to Cecilia, in fact she even says that Cecilia still has time, meaning she can go back before taking vows this evening, and God will forgive her. But she won't be able to go back after taking vows. And we can see that Sister Cecilia was very dedicated, and even after knowing that Cecilia's main task would be to take care of such older sisters, who are about to pass away soon, still, she wanted to stay here. So now in the story, Cecilia meets Sister Gwen, and their vibes match a lot, which makes them good friends. Now that evening, Cecilia goes to the chapel to take vows, and there she finally meets Father Tradeshi. Father Tradeshi was very friendly, and he also helps in taking Cecilia's vows. Now at dinner time, there is a conversation between Father and Cecilia, where we get to know a bit more about them. Like Father's first career was in science, specifically in biology, but with time, he devoted himself to this convent. And now he is a priest. Meanwhile, Cecilia says that when she was 12 years old, she fell into a frozen lake in Saginaw. And by the time Cecilia was taken out, heartbeat had stopped. In fact, Cecilia was even declared dead by the doctors. But after seven minutes, Cecilia suddenly came back to life. Since then, Cecilia felt that God had saved her life for a purpose. And to fulfill that purpose, Cecilia chose this path where finally she became a nun with her vows. Anyway, in the next scene, we meet Cecilia in the chapel, where she sees a hooded figure lying on the ground. This hooded figure was wearing something like a red skin mask, and that's when Mother Superior comes there. Mother Superior gives Cecilia a holy nail relic, and supposedly this is the same sharp object with which Jesus was impaled on the cross. As soon as she takes this relic in her hand, Cecilia becomes unconscious, and when she regains consciousness, she finds herself in a confession box. Here, Cecilia feels as if some hands have grabbed her, and then she is trapped in a red room where the same hooded figures stab Cecilia. But then we see Cecilia waking up from her sleep, depicting that all of this was probably a nightmare. Or maybe it wasn't. Anyway, in the next few scenes, we see Cecilia learning the hard ways of the convent, and one night when she is sleeping, an old nun cuts Cecilia's hair. This wakes up Cecilia, and Cecilia takes this old nun back to her bed. It seems that Cecilia's job was to take care of these old nuns. Here, Cecilia notices that there was a cross-shaped scar on one of the old nun's feet. Anyway, the next day when Cecilia was talking to Gwen while bathing, she suddenly vomits. Cecilia gets her checkup done by the in-house doctor, Gallo. And after a short while, Mother Superior calls Cecilia to a room. The room that Cecilia goes to was home to Father Tedeschi, Mother Superior, Cardinal Marola, and the same senior members of the convent, who were in a very serious condition. The thing was that Cecilia was pregnant, and this was not possible, because Cecilia was a virgin. That is, she had never been physically involved with any human being. In such a situation, everyone considers Cecilia's pregnancy to be a miracle, and in the whole convent, Cecilia is treated as if she were a Virgin Mary. Everyone was assuming that the child that was in Cecilia's womb was a blessing, and that she would be the next messenger of God. Now, even though everyone was happy, Cecilia didn't understand how a miracle happened here, and why did it happen with her. In fact, while vomiting once, Cecilia's one of her teeth comes out. 
which was weird. Now, there was a nun in the convent who was not happy with Cecilia's popularity, and she was none other than Sister Isabel. Isabel tries to drown and kill Cecilia here, saying that all of this should have happened to me. Isabel almost kills Cecilia, but at the same time, other nuns comes and saves Cecilia. Fortunately, even after all this, the child that was in Cecilia's womb was unharmed, and now Cecilia has a demand to go to a real hospital. But the father said that this convent is the safest place for Cecilia, and he will make sure that such a mishap does not happen to Cecilia in the future. After this, we can see that Isabel jumped off the roof of the convent and killed herself, and the word was that she was not mentally stable. But we must have understood by now that something is definitely wrong in the convent. Now, not only you, but even Cecilia started doubting that something is wrong in the convent after this death. In fact, Gwen started doubting more than Cecilia so much, so that one day Gwen starts shouting in front of everyone, saying that the superiors here are suppressing things. There's something wrong here, etc. Because of this, Father Tedeschi and Deacon Enzo take Gwen somewhere. Now that night, Cecilia's mother Mary's painting hangs in her room and Cecilia sees something written on the back of the painting. There was a particular section of the Bible mentioned, which was 2 Corinthians 11.14, and when Cecilia checks that section in the Bible, it was clearly written there. Sometimes the devil calls himself an angel. We can understand this as a warning. Now reading this, Cecilia starts investigating in the convent, and she finds her file in a drawer, which had a record of the incident of her past. This meant that the father and church superiors already knew about Cecilia's past. Now Cecilia hears a voice, which Cecilia follows to a room, and we find Gwen locked in this room. There were some hooded people here who cut off Gwen's tongue. Yes, friends, seeing this, Cecilia was in shock. And then the same old nun comes there, who had cut off Cecilia's hair. This old nun gives her a cross made of Cecilia's hair, and Cecilia tells her that we should run away from here. Hearing this, the old nun gets very serious, saying that Cecilia will never be able to escape from here. Now the next day we see that Cecilia was bleeding a lot, as if she had a miscarriage. Meanwhile, Father Tedeschi and Deacon Enzo take Cecilia to the hospital in a car. After they leave, a nun notices that there was a chicken feather under Cecilia's bed, which meant that Cecilia was pretending to bleed to escape from here, and actually, she had killed a chicken and smeared its blood everywhere, so that it would look like a miscarriage. Now this nun immediately calls Father Tedeschi and tells him all this. And Father Tedeschi stops the car on the way. Seeing Father's expressions, Cecilia also understood that her lie has been caught. And in this, Cecilia tries to escape from the car. But Father Tedeschi and Deacon Enzo catch her and take her back to the convent. Here, Cecilia is tied to a chair. And at this point, Father reveals everything that is going on inside the convent. Actually, before coming to this convent, Father was a genetics expert and he found Jesus' blood samples and bones on Jesus' nail relic. In short, he found a genetic code, which he used to bring a new messiah to our world. Now, of course, he could not get the permission to experiment like this anywhere else. That's why he joined this convent, where he has been pregnanting his sisters with this genetic code for the past 20 years, in the hope that the child to be born would be a new messiah. He has done this with many sisters till date, but every time, the fetus either turns out to be deformed, or can't survive. But finally, this time, the baby in Cecilia's womb is healthy, and that baby will be the messiah of this world. So when Cecilia was unconscious, the hooded people had actually impregnated her with this genetic code. Now, after telling all this, Father gives a burning cross scar on Cecilia's leg, depicting that this has happened to many other nuns as well. That's why Cecilia had seen a cross scar on an old nun's leg. Anyway, after this, Cecilia is kept as a prisoner. And then the scene changes, where we see Cecilia in Dr. Gar, Gallo's in-house clinic, where Mother Superior was also there. And after the doctor leaves, Cecilia attacks Mother Superior with a cross and kills her. Then Cecilia tries to escape from here, but her water breaks. Still, somehow, Cecilia chokes the Cardinal with her rosary and kills him. Then she goes to Father Tedeschi's lab, drops ethanol there and tries to set it on fire. Then suddenly, Father comes there and tries to manipulate Cecilia. In fact, he also attacks Cecilia, but in this mess, Cecilia somehow locks Father in the lab and sets it on fire. Now, Cecilia enters this convent's catacombs, where it was forbidden for any nun to go. 
In the catacombs, Cecilia sees Gwen's dead body, which tells us that the nuns who were killed in this convent would have been buried or hidden here. These nuns were often killed by the superiors here, and the same happened with Isabel or Gwen. Cecilia tries to escape from here, but suddenly, the burnt-out father comes here, who somehow managed to escape from the lab. Here they fight again, where the father tries to cut off Cecilia's stomach and take out the child. But Cecilia stabs the father's neck with that nail relic and kills him. Now you may ask, how did Cecilia get that nail relic? Well, during this run and run, Cecilia picked up this relic from the chapel. Anyway, now Cecilia finally comes out of the catacombs, and in turn, she had come out of this convent as well. At this point, Cecilia has to deliver herself. It was brutal. Now we can't see how Cecilia's child looks like, but we can hear her voice, which wasn't like a human's. This voice was like an animal's. And Cecilia was also shocked to see this child. In this, Cecilia picks up a stone lying nearby and throws it at the child. On that note, movie ends. So, friends, that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, peace out.